electrolysis of dilute aqueous sulfuric acid. First of all, we will assign the terminals of the battery and the electrodes. And then we look at the ions that are present in the electrolyte. Sulfuric acid, we have H plus sulfate ions. From water, we also have H plus and hydroxide ions. Preferential discharge, we look at the cathode. At the cathode, well, there's only positive ions being hydrogen ions, so it's an easy decision. Hydrogen ions will be reduced to hydrogen gas. At the anode, between sulfates and hydroxides, okay, it will be useful to remember that sulfates or nitrates for that matter will not be discharged. So it's your hydroxides that will be discharged. It will be oxidized. into oxygen gas. Okay, again, one of the useful equations that we need, might need to memorize will be this particular one. Four minus four electrons. So at the cathode, we have hydrogen gas forming. That will be observations, effervescence, lighted splint extinguished with a pop sound. At the cathode, or rather at the anode, we will have effervescence due to oxygen gas. If we were to test for it, it will relight a glowing splint. What are the ratios of hydrogen gas to oxygen gas? We can't compare across directly until we have made sure that the electrons are the same on both on both half equations. So for comparison purposes, okay, I'll multiply the first equation, first half equation by two. So we get four, four, two. Now the electrons are the same. We can do a direct comparison. For every two moles of H2 gases collected, you'll get one mole of O2 collected. Okay, you realize that this is actually the same as one of an earlier video where we electrolyze aqueous dilute sodium chloride. Now this is the electrolysis of aqueous dilute sulfuric acid. It can you will also you will also get the same half equations if you were to use aqueous hydrochloric acid dilute or aqueous nitric acid dilute so in other words electrolysis of dilute acids essentially is an electrolysis of water where you get hydrogen gas and oxygen gas in the ratio 2 is to 1 volume